Okay, folks, today I'm going to walk you through um, really a photography editing tool that I use. It's Adobe Lightroom 2.4. Uh, the 0.4 is just a minor version release. Uh, look for version 2 if you're looking to buy something like this. But um, what you see here is I'm in the library module, which is basically the image browsing uh, functionality. And uh, you can rate different pictures by stars, you know, one through five. You can set different pictures a different color. Basically, it's a method for organization. What I've done is chosen one picture that um, I want to show you how I changed. This one and this one are actually the same picture, but uh, same file, but Lightroom is using basically metadata, data about data that uh, basically allows you to save on storage room. It uh, takes settings and saves the settings for each file saved, but uh, it doesn't have, you don't have to save the file twice basically. So it's a pretty slick feature um, and why I like this program. So I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna move over to the develop module and you can see a number of different effects that I can apply to it. So here's the kind of a quick preview screen. And you can just scroll through all these and you can see all the wild effects that you can do there. I do often use these, but uh, for simplicity, I'll just show you kind of interesting effect there. Um, so this makes it pretty fast actually. So I could, you know, use that and be close to be done with it. But what I want to do is show you how I walk. I do this, uh, kind of edit the photo to, to my liking. So what I want to do is fix this one because the cropping on this actually sucks. It's not a great picture in the first place. What I'm going to do is crop this down. Okay, so all I picked was this crop overlay tool here. So sometimes, no matter what you do, you just can't fix a bad picture. And this is this is one that's close to it, but I want to show you uh, how to fix a relatively bad one. Okay, so. That looks a little better than what it was. Now, what I want to do is, it looks too yellow on my screen. Um, what I want to do is fix that up, make it less yellow. So what I've done is pick this white balance selector tool. Click on that, find basically a neutral color, and check out the preview pane up here. Okay, drag it around, see what looks best. Typically, if you can find a white, solid white color, or a uh, spot of the image that you know is white. I, I know that this notebook I was using isn't true white. I'll pick it anyways, and you can see the difference right away. It looks a little better, but let me hunt for something a little bit better. So maybe if you use a solid black, or this gray here. Let's try that. To me, that looks a little bit better. Now, what I want to do is bump up the exposure, but yet fill in a little bit of the black here. So I'm just dragging these sliders right here. I could use auto and be done with it, but to me that looks too dark and not quite right. So we're going to undo that. We're going to change the contrast a little bit. Slide that a little down. Again, this is a little bit of trial and error, folks. Uh, fill it in. Okay. I want to make it a little bit more sharp because it's a little dull in areas. And again, I think this is not the greatest photo in the first place. So I want to use this clarity bar. I want to pull back on some of the color. OK. 
Okay. So I reduced the vibrance there. Okay, reduce the saturation just a little bit. And what I want to do is play with some of the highlights. Okay, it's a little too much. See if I can do anything with the shadows. Yeah, see folks, that's way too much. Okay. What else can I fix? This is at the working mode. I can zoom in and look at the finer details here as well. Got some blurriness here. I'm just I'm not gonna be able to fix that. But what I can do is if I think these screws, for example, are a little blurry, I can go in and do some selective sharpening. So what I've done is click this adjustment brush. I can go down to the sharpness. I can scroll over and kind of bump it up right here, around, take the slider bar, and I always like to kind of go to the extreme just to see what I'm working with here. And then tone it down a little bit so you can see the difference there. That's extreme, and that's dull. Okay, I'm going to bump it all the way to the extreme here, but I'm also going to do it up here around the edges. Obviously the focus point was in this area of the picture. Okay, a little more around here. And just a little bit around the tip. Okay. So I think we're good there. Let's try it again with the clarity. Similar to sharpness, but a little bit more um, impactful, if that's a word. too bad. Makes it a little bit more dark, which can be bad. You see that there? I don't think I like that. Okay. So, I think it's probably the best this picture is going to get. Do a quick scan. What else I can change here? Not much. At this point, what you can do is go back to the library module. Okay, don't forget which one you worked on. It's usually highlighted. You can go into the uh, is edit this 